again. Back to you on this absolutely beautiful Monday. This is May 16th of 2016. And uh, got another vlog video for you guys. Everybody keeps saying they love these, so I'm trying to do them on a uh, daily basis. I know I've missed a couple of days, but um, you know what? That's going to happen every once in a while because, once again, as I've said before, if I don't have anything interesting to talk about, there's no reason to do a vlog. Well, today that is definitely not the case. Uh, once again, right now it's getting on 11 a.m. Uh, I should be getting my camcorder in today. I just checked the tracking uh, via UPS, and it is on time. Uh, it was in Richmond, Virginia last night, so it should be fairly close to where I live now. And uh, I just cannot wait, because it's going to be so awesome, the film with that Canon. Never actually owned a Canon high-definition camcorder. I've never actually owned a, a Canon camcorder, period. And everybody's told me how good they are, and I know Canon is a very, very well-respected brand. And um, I'm just am really happy I got the deal I did on that. I wound up getting that camcorder, for those of you that didn't hear, for $250. Um, normally that's a $300 camcorder, so I wound up saving $50. Um, one thing I did forget to do, though, is I didn't add in my $5 birthday reward zone certificate. I thought about that the other day after I purchased it. I meant to do it, and you can do it online. You can add reward zone certificates, but I was just in such a hurry to get it because they were about to sell out of them online. I just totally forgot, so eh, I'll wind up using it for something else. Now, one thing I am sure you guys have been waiting for, and I showed this in my vlog little yesterday, the SSD. I have mounted it on the rails because as I stated before the rails came in uh, yesterday and um, Josh was over here from uh, Bose Computers. If you want to check out his channel I'll leave a link to it in the bottom of this video. Um, and uh, he and I were looking at this and I kind of I had, was really busy yesterday but I did start on it at least. I basically got the Crucial SSD in there. This is the MX200 for those of you that haven't seen any videos about this yet. Um, 250 gigabyte. Uh, this is the one I got on eBay brand new for uh, $75, which was a very good deal. These things still sell for over $100 in certain places. But basically all this is, as you can see, I've attached it to the bottom using the four screws there. Got one, two, three, four. And then basically this is going to go into my desktop computer. This turns it from a two and a half inch drive to a three and a half inch drive so I can actually put that in the drive rail in my HP. Um, and the computer this is going in is the HP uh, six core system that I got at that garage sale a few months ago. So I'm going to go ahead and install this drive and then it's going to be ready to reinstall Windows 10 because I just I tried cloning it and I'd have no luck with that. Luckily this computer is just my media center system. I really don't have any sensitive data. I don't have any pictures or music or movies too much on it. So basically what I'm going to do is reinstall Windows on here and uh, the few songs I have on here are still on that other hard drive so I won't format that. I'll just go ahead and keep that as a basically a backup drive. Now I'll hold all my data. So basically it's going to have the 250 gigabyte SSD plus the internal uh, main hard drive, which is a Western Digital, I believe, 500 gigabytes, either a Western Digital or a Seagate. Um, I'll have to take a look when I open it. So I'm going to get to work on this because I am so excited to get the SSD up and running in this and uh, talk to you guys a little All later. All right, guys. So as you can see, I just opened up this computer and it's actually a Seagate hard drive that I have in here. It's a uh, Barracuda 500 gigabyte. Um, so like I said, this particular hard drive is just going to stay in there. I'm just going to go ahead and insert the SSD above that. And uh, we'll go ahead and start working on the uh, installation of Windows All right, 10. guys, so I had to rummage through my closet for a couple of parts I needed. The first one, of course, just a regular SATA cable. I got plenty of those lying around. The second thing I needed was a little bit harder to find, but it took me maybe about 20 minutes, but I did wind up pick finding it. This is a Molex to SATA power connector adapter. And the reason I need that is even though the power supply in here is a really nice um, 900 watt, it didn't have a lot of built-in SATA power connectors. I believe it only actually had two. The rest were Molex. So basically I'm going to use this adapter so I can hook the SSD up, drive up to it. That plugs into the Molex connector and then that gives me the one extra SATA power connector that I need. So 
Now that I'm all ready, I'm going to go ahead and install this drive and start putting on Windows 10. All right, guys. Well, I did run into a little bit of a problem. The cheap little Chinese-made screws that came with this thing, some of them were not up to par. When I tried to screw them in, they wouldn't actually hold the SSD in properly. So I used two of the those original screws on this side. But on this side, I used some uh, heavier screws that were made originally for installing floppy drives. So those combined pretty much hold this in place. And for you guys that are interested, this is basically what it looks like. It's just the rail holds like a regular... Um, three and a half inch drive but it allows me to put in that SSD and as you can see it's nice and tight in there you can see that gorgeous looking crucial MX200 solid state drive which is going to make this computer so much quicker same SATA ports as the regular three and a half inch desktop drive so all that's left is for me to go ahead and put this back in the system and install the operating system and enjoy the new SSD experience job done and what I actually did because as, I, as I've said in previous vlogs this is not the exact right um, hard drive cage for this so what I did is I put a bigger screw in there I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's bigger and it's got longer threads so basically it uh, holds this cage in a little bit better and you know I can move this with my hand and this is not going anywhere I have it connected to the side it looks a little cockeyed, but believe me, it works just fine. So this computer is totally ready for a new Windows installation. Right, guys, and before I actually start the installation, there is something I wanted to discuss because I've been getting a lot of hatred on my channel for this uh, lately, and that is my use of Windows 10. I've been accused of only knowing how to install Windows 10, only liking Windows 10, and uh, pretty much having no computer skills whatsoever. Well, those of you that have watched my channel for any length of time know that is absolutely not true. I know almost every operating system that's out there. I still work on computers that are running DOS, anything from DOS, Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows 98, pretty much everything back to the beginning. Um, at least when I was born. So I don't know who it is out there that's doing that, and I know I'm always going to get hate haters on my channel, but it's just not true. I do like Windows 10, yes. I will be the first one to admit, and it's not everybody's cup of tea. A lot of people still like Windows 7. I like Windows 7. I still have a couple computers around the house that are running Windows 7. Um, I support systems that run Windows 7. I still support systems that run Win uh, Windows XP. I even have one or two systems that run Vista, and I'm not going to get into why these people are still using Vista, but suffice to say, I still have to support them. Um, I don't mind having, a, again, a spirited conversation about why you don't like Windows 10, but I don't want to see comments like, Windows 10 sucks. He's using Windows 10. Wow. Like, sarcastically saying that. Um... How can you stand Windows 10? Windows 10 is for losers. And these are actual comments I've gotten on videos. And you know what? If you're going to put those there, I am not going to respond to that because you are not helping your argument. Just by commenting Windows 10 sucks, that does not explain why you don't like Windows 10. I love Windows 10. I think it's one of the most fluid operating systems Microsoft has ever released. It's very well designed, in my opinion. The, the start menu is back, albeit in a little different form. You have most of your original icons there. Uh, it is a very stable operating system. I've only had Windows 10 crash on this computer once since I've owned it, and that was pretty much my fault because I didn't update the uh, video card drivers. Um, like I said, I don't mind having a debate with you about why you don't like Windows 10, but just to put in the comments, Windows 10 sucks, or something to that effect, I'm not going to answer that. How can I answer that? You're not making an argument. I mean, all you're telling me is you don't like Windows 10. Well, why don't you like Windows 10? Give me, elaborate on it. And if you, and if you elaborate on it and your comments are genuine and you have some genuine concerns, I will go ahead and respond to it. But like I said, just, just to be, uh, just to spew hate for hate's sake, not going to deal with that anymore, guys. And I know I didn't, I don't always mean to go on a rant in my vlogs, but this is something that needs to be said. And I know I've said stuff like this before, but it seems to me there are people out there that all they want to do is spew hatred. They want to, to basically instigate an argument. They want to say the opposite of what you believe just to see what kind of reaction they can get. And of course, I know this is feeding into a little bit, but 
this is the last thing I'm going to say about this. If you put comments down there and to anything to that effect, I'm not going to respond to you. And you know what? It's going to be your fault. And if you start getting abusive about it, like some of the people have, you're going to get banned from my channel. All right, guys, I'm done with the rant for today. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 on this computer, and uh, we'll see what it goes from there. Talk to you a little later. All right, guys, so the computer is set up again, and the one thing I need to do before installing Windows 10 is make sure that the uh, computer is actually recognizing the SSD. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm not going to bother saying smoke test. This is going to be a little tricky because... I cannot get it to the third input unless there's actually some signal going through it. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit up the BIOS quick enough. Oh, I think I did. Let's see if I can get into the uh, BIOS real quick. And you can see what this computer is. It's the AMD FX 6126 core. Um, Looks like we might have frozen up here. I'm just waiting for it to respond. I'll go ahead and put the uh, camera down and hopefully I can get into the BIOS and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like on this computer. Okay, so I finally got into the BIOS. I couldn't remember what it was. On this computer, it's actually F12, which is odd because usually that's uh, startup options, but I was able to get in there. And as you can see, the 250 gigabyte crucial drive is definitely working. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this installation a try, and uh, maybe we'll do some benchmarking. If not on the vlog, maybe I'll save that for tomorrow. So I'm not going to have you guys sit and watch the installation of Windows 10. You guys know how it works. It just kind of gets boring. So uh, I'll give you guys an update on this uh, once I get the installation all complete. Talk to you a little bit later. Well, it is once again laundry day, so time to strip the bed. <laughs> The hardest part is getting these pillows cases off, these new pillows. Come on, come on, get off. Ah, Got to have two hands and for this. And last but not least, the bottom sheet. One thing I must say, and I love, I love it ever since I started using one of these mattress pads. This is nothing super crazy. It's just a real thin one, but it helps protect the mattress. And I maybe bleach this about every couple of months, but if you look underneath here, my mattress is about 10 years old. I'm going to try to pull this off. You can see this mattress for its age is very clean. And that is because I've always used one of these mattress pads on this particular mattress. So if you guys want to get your mattresses to last longer and not get dirty, go ahead and pick one of these up. I just got this thing at the thrift store. I think I paid maybe four or five dollars for it and it has been a lifesaver. What a disaster guys. Well, I finally have Windows 10 installing on the SSD. Apparently, um, when I tried to clone the drive, it had caused some errors on the SSD because the cloning process didn't work properly and um, Windows 10 could not find the SSD. And I tried formatting it a few ways. I used um, D-Band, which I found out I shouldn't have done, but it seems to be okay. Finally, I went back to a Cronus 2016, and what I wound up doing is formatting it using a GPT or GDP partition, I think it's called, which is what Windows 10 uses. So I, it looks like it's gonna be okay. It, unfortunately, um, I'm not really used to working with SSDs other than the one I put in my XPS 8700, and that one went a heck of a lot smoother than this, so uh, I think we're going to be okay now. So just as a fair warning to you guys, if you get an SSD, don't try to clone it. It's just too many issues with it, and um, it's better just do a fresh install. I know there are ways to do it, but... It's just really, really, um, you're taking a risk if you clone, if you're really trying to clone a conventional hard drive to an SSD. So, uh, just wanted to mention that. I'm going to go ahead and let this install. Another thing I have to do is I'm trying to uh, replace the VCR. I've been having a lot of problems with this uh, Super VHS JVC VCR I have down here. It's very picky on what tapes it'll play. Um, I was actually trying to watch uh, Camelot last night, the original musical, and uh, unfortunately it just kept getting the lines down the screen. So I think this VCR has had it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out, and I'm going to put back in my trusty uh, JVC. Uh, this one is the Hi-Fi Stereo. This one is model, if my camera will focus, H. 
R D seven five zero UM. This is from uh, nineteen eighty eight or nineteen eighty nine, and this VCR is so much better than this one. I mean, this this old this JVC from two thousand two is literally a black piece of crap. So I'm going to go ahead clean under here because, as you can see, dust is built up a little bit. Um, even though I run my uh, Auric XL air purifier, doesn't always clean all the dust out. So I'm going to go ahead and change this out and. Talk to you guys a little bit later. Right, guys, let's check in on Simon. I haven't done that in a couple of days. I know you guys like to see him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, Sime? He's doing very well. He just went down and got his treats. You can see that I've been brushing him quite a bit. His fur is nice and uh, soft. He's the type of cat that needs to be brushed on a regular basis. If not, um, his fur gets very matted and it becomes extremely coarse. Um, other than that, he said he's doing good for an old timer. You know, we figured out he's pushing 15 years old. Isn't that right, sweetie? Mm. It's uh, usually around this time I can pet him. Uh, in the mornings, though, if he's up here, he just will not want me to have anything to do with me. He just wants to sleep and sleep and sleep. So, uh, so I give you guys a quick update on Mr. Simon. Like I said, he's doing just fine, and I think I showed you guys LT the other day, so, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Talk to you All in a right, little guys. bit. All right, guys. Well, I got some mail today. This is actually from a uh, YouTube user, Eric Brunhammer, and uh, I knew this was coming. He had told me about this uh, a few days ago, and um, I can't wait to open it. He wanted me to do it on uh, on a video, so I figured I'd just incorporate it with the vlog, so... Let me see if I can go ahead. I gotta go ahead and cut this, and uh, we'll see what's All inside. Right, so I needed two hands to cut that tape, but as you can see, it should be about open. Let's see if I can break it. There we go. And we'll see what we got. Woohoo! Lots of bubble wrap. Thank you, uh, Eric. I can definitely use this. Um, I do a lot of packaging myself, so I'll go ahead and put that to the side. Ooh, and this is what I thought it was gonna be. He had told me that his local Dollar Tree had indeed gotten some LED bulbs in. So I asked him if he had some extras to send me, and it looks like he sent me four of them, and I think they're all the same. We'll take it out and look here. Uh, yep. Yeah. These are all home illuminated LED bulbs. These are 40 watt, um, let's see, 40 watt equivalent, but only uses uh, 7 watts. And they can last up to 22.8 years. It's really amazing how long LED bulbs will last. Now, these are the warm white bulbs. So these are pretty much the same temperature as this. Um, if you guys still use incandescent bulbs, that's what most incandescent bulbs are, warm white. So I think these will actually be perfect. I'm thinking of trying to use these in a... Um, uh, in our fixtures outside because the fixtures are actually covered so the elements can't get in and I just noticed something these are dimmable which is actually very rare for when you're getting LED bulbs especially this cheap generally they're not dimmable so I may have to find uh, find another use for these I'm just gonna make sure there isn't anything else in there nope well thank you once again Eric I really appreciate this these are definitely going to be of excellent use to me again i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to use these outside but um i'll see what happens talk to All you guys right, a little guys. later so i'm gonna end the vlog here for today you're gonna have to tune into this tomorrow to see how everything came out with the windows 10 install on the ssd and see if i got my camcorder so as i say all the time have a blessed day everybody